Hi folks, this is Max from uh, GalaxyS2Root.com um, So I've got an update, updated um, overview of the latest Resurrection Remix Jelly Bean um, This one is actually quite perfect uh, You actually have a bunch of launcher choices um, But uh, what I'm running is the Xperia launcher, one of the launchers that it comes with um, It's really cool, I'll uh, show you for those of you who haven't tried if you try to uh, move the apps, you'll you get that flying effect. You see that? So cool. I was doing this for like an hour. It's getting high on Android, high on Android, high on Android. It is so fun. Um, that's the launcher I'm running. It's really fast. Switching between apps is like uh, a breeze. You can see here. Oh yeah, it's so fast. Um, it is just blazing fast. I think with this launcher, I have to actually kind of press it. Um, yeah, that's probably what it is. But really fast, uh, all of that, all of the good things you've been getting from Jelly Bean, um, Resurrection, uh, everything's get, been getting better and better. And I know last time Bluetooth and uh, Netflix wasn't working, but it's working flawless now. I've just tested it. Um, I'm not going to show you that due to copyright issues on my channel and due to a bunch of haters flagging down my videos. Um, yeah, I'm not going to show you that. But uh, let's go to ROM control here. And uh, general UI, 180 degree rotation. You can uh, choose custom boot animation, custom carrier, label. Um, you can see I have Zeto Max there. Kill all button. Oh, this kill all button is really cool. Um, you can go here. If you enable that when you hold it, you can kill all these apps, just like a Galaxy S3. Um, that's really cool. Navigation bar, if you want to add the soft touch buttons, customize it, add extra buttons. Uh, maybe you have a friend who has, um, who's disabled, um, he can't, maybe he can only use one finger. Then this can be actually great. You can set up a bunch of uh, soft buttons. You can actually set up, I think, even more than three and set up what those actions do. So he doesn't have to actually use these harder buttons, which might be hard to press. Um, battery all that usual clock toggles now with the lock screen there is no custom lock screen but I'm sure developer uh, the developer West Crip is working on it I know he's working on it so just watch out for the next future version status toggles you guys all know that sound is uh, been changed a little bit um, you get all these extra options and also face down audio mode like if you um, if you have phone face down you can set it to automatic silent or vibrate that may be a great way if you listen to a lot of music and then you know you just want to sh shut it off, boom, uh, that might be great. Again, I get <laughs> due to copyright issues, I can't play any songs. Um, I know there's some songs non-copyrighted, but I'm not gonna even take a chance. Um, enable weather and also um, use custom location. Uh, that's the weather widget you saw, and uh, you can see all my um, my my uh, my schedule going up there. That's showing for my whole week, and also. Um, the weather here and uh, that schedule is somewhere here but it's, it's there and also performance this one's a little bit um, iffy I don't actually recommend using it because when I use it it'll just kind of the, the two bars will move together um, I think it's a general AOKP bug not not just on resurrection you can use set CPU for changing your um, you know your gigahertz whatever and uh, other than that, you can change themes. You can download CM9, CM10, um, different themes you can download. And uh, it'll show up here if you download it from the Play Store. Like I got the Holo Red, I download it for CM9, CM10. Just search for CM9 um, space themes on Play Store. You get a bunch of themes. And now I'm all redded out a little bit. Actually, with the Xperia launcher, I'm not going to get that redded out. But you can see some of it changed. Um, if you stay with the default launcher, you'll get a lot more theme stuff out of it. Uh, but very, very fast, um, very solid. I'm very impressed with the new new version, the latest version. Everything pretty much working flawless. Uh, jelly beans are still kind of beta, so you might still encounter minor bugs here and there. Um, you know, just know that. But it should be a great daily driver, and I think this is the best ROM now. Uh, back on top. So Resurrection Remix ROM, uh, Jelly Bean ROM, highly recommend it. If you have an i9, if you have a GTI 9100, 
please do not flash on um, other Galaxy S2s. Um, and uh, if you have a Galaxy S2, don't forget to sign up for my new channel um, over at Galaxy S2 Root. And also you can subscribe here too. Um, I'll have the links down below or I'll have it here too. And if you click that, it'll go to my new channel, Galaxy S2 Root. That's where I'm going to put most of my Galaxy S2 videos because I'm going to start making a bunch of them. And uh, I will uh, upload the best ones here at my main channel, Zetomex. Um, and uh, thanks you guys for supporting my channel, my videos. And uh, if you have a Galaxy S2, any of the Galaxy S2s except for the Skyrocket and the i9100G, those two I don't support. Um, go ahead and sign up for my email list at galaxyas2root.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week. Um, tips, hacks, and more. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me if you have trouble with your phone. And uh, please share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Um, looking solid. Resurrection Remix 3.0.6 3 is the one I've reviewed. Uh, install it. Let me know what you think. And if there's a newer version... Um, Try try this one first because um, this is the one I reviewed, and uh, you know the newer version should be fine. But if you have any problems, you can always install this one that I reviewed. But it's flawless. I love it. All right, see y'all later. Bye.